how to dock a floating component. So the components are these floating boxes that we have. The information, placement, drag and drop, as well as the 2020 Cloud Browser. When clicking and holding on one of the boxes, we see these little white boxes appear on our screen. When hovering over one of the white boxes, we get a blue shape. That blue shape is a preview to what your box would look like if you let go. So I'm going to let go now and the information box became that blue shape. So right now the information is docked. So now we want to add the placement and the local browser to it. How do we do that? I'm going to go ahead and grab the local browser the same way we did the information and I'm going to drag it on top of the information. So now we see we have five white boxes. Normally the local browser would be at the bottom so I'm going to hover over the bottom box right here, let go and then we see the local browser is docked. So I'll grab the placement, drag it on top and here we see we're offered the same thing. Now the placement will normally go in the middle so I see here that if I hover over the, bo the bottom one here it creates a shape in the middle so that's exactly where I want my placement to be docked so I'm going to let go and here we see now we have all three of them docked so obviously it's not perfect in proportion we can go ahead and click and drag to make certain components bigger than the other and that's it so now let's do the cloud browser I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing normally it's over here on the right so I'll hover over this white square, let go, and now it's docked. Now the method we just used was useful for version 10, 11, and 12. Although in our newest version 12, we do have another feature that could better help us with this. If we come up here to the view tab, we actually have a new button here called screen preset. If we give that a click, we have a couple of different options. So we can go ahead and click on initial and it'll give us the initial scheme. If we go and click on split, it'll give us the split scheme. And if we go ahead and click on classic, then it actually gives us what we just had, which is the version 11 way of looking at things. This is useful because now you no longer have to go ahead and dock everything individually. Let's say if everything was undocked, I can come right here to screen preset, click on classic, and everything goes right back to the way it's supposed to be. So super powerful. That is how to dock floating components in 2020 design. Turn your questions into answers in seconds with the 2020 Knowledge Center.